Welcome back for another video and today I'm going to be doing the third installment of the duck calling series and we're going to be talking about the comeback call. I know I've done duck calling tutorials in the past, I get it, but I think I can explain things a little bit better this time. So the two things that you're going to need, duck call and practice, I've said that in the past video so I'm probably going to not say it in the next one, but that's true. The biggest thing I can tell you guys today when you're trying to learn how to duck call is to practice. You're not going to get any better without practicing. So practice, practice, practice. So a little recap, I've done the quack video and I've done the greeting call video and this ties into both of those components that you've learned in those. So like I said, call goes here, you wrap your hands around, get a little gap in there, here's your fine tuners and you're going to be bringing the air up from your gut. You're going to go hoot. That is the basic quack. I'm sure you guys watched that video. And if you haven't, go back over to that video and restart this playlist or watch through this series again and learn it from the quack to the greeting call to the comeback call. The comeback call is basically a really fast, loud, and drawn out greeting call. And you use this call when you're calling on the corners and you're trying to get ducks that have visited the spread and they leave, you hit them on the corner with that comeback call and most of the time they're going to come back in for a second look. And the comeback call sounds like this. That was a single read, here's my double read. Like I said, the comeback call is like a really long drawn out and loud greeting call and you need to remember to bring your air from your diaphragm. You don't want to have the air kind of coming from your throat or your chest, and you don't want to puff your cheeks out. You really want to just concentrate that air going through the barrel of the call. And so in the back of the call, the comeback call sounds like this. It's going longer than those five notes, and it's going to be a lot louder than those five note sequences that you did with the greeting call. This call is really simple to learn after you've learned the greeting call. You're basically just going really loud with it. And to do that, you just push more air up from your diaphragm into the call. And then you just And you know, the first like three to five notes are really the most important ones. So if you want to just stop at like five to seven notes, you can, but you can draw it out longer if you want. <laughs> When you're talking to ducks, the comeback call is basically saying, hey, come back over here. We've got a lot of food. We're having a great time. You need to take a second look. And so to do that, you're just, like I said, and you're going, and you're bringing it up and going, oot, 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 oot. I think I'm reemphasizing so many points right now that you're probably getting bored. So I'm going to stop. That's pretty much it. It's really simple after you learn the greeting call. It's basically the same thing, except faster, louder, and longer. If you guys want to pick up one of these hats, go over to MallyWackerOutfitters.com and pick one up. I've got some social media. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Follow me on there. Stay up to date with what I'm doing. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'm usually on all of those looking at messages and answering people. So if you have anything, don't hesitate. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one.